Hi and welcome, my name is Rob Scott from UC Today and in this session I'll be speaking to Dave Michaels, Principal Analyst and Founder of Talking Points and we'll be talking about Talking Points Insider. So welcome Dave, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good, good to see you again. Dave, we've got an interesting topic lined up today. So it's, it's not the usual topic. We're going to be talking about Talking Points Insider uh, and sharing with the audience exactly what it's all about. So. Dave, One of my you, favorite topics, actually. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Dave, could you start off by, um, first of all, just give us a little bit of background on yourself first. I think that's a, you know, a good place to start. Um, Dave Michaels. I uh, have been in the uh, UC industry longer than it's been called the UC industry. Um, I uh, have, have uh, been uh, at different levels. I've been at a distributor. I've been at a reseller. I used to own a Mito reseller. I think you did too, actually. Um, and uh, uh, around 20 years ago, I started uh, just kind of writing about the industry. I had so much passion about it. And that writing turned into talking points, which turned into uh, an analyst role and a media role. And I am just completely passionate about, I don't call it UC anymore, I call it enterprise communications, uh, because it's kind of evolved into a much broader form. You know, what went from PBX to UC to, to chat, video, and, and all, all kinds of new forms of collaboration. Great, thanks, Dave. And you, you've got your finger on the pulse. Uh, everything I see from you, whether it's on social media, uh, on your website, your blog, or on Talking Points Insider, you know, you've really got a great perspective of the marketplace. So I was keen to kind of just share with the audience today uh, more around Talking Points Insider, kind of what makes it different. So maybe first of all, could you just tell uh, the audience, you know, what it is and, uh, and what makes it different? Well, it, it is my subscription service that I offer that, that uh, has different levels. So the basic insider report is a monthly report that is something between a monthly news recap of industry news and uh, with, with opinions. It's, it's, got, it's got the opinions of why this might be important or why I included it as something insignificant in the monthly recap. Uh, there's other parts of the insider that are, you know, it's a tiered program, so there's also uh, some premium blog posts that I do. There's also uh, some uh, research notes. I do about eight research notes a year, typically on something very specific, like a major announcement or a major event. Great. So who's the, who's the target audience for the for the subscription? Well, for the main insider report, which I think you've seen, I know you've seen, um, is is pretty much a. Uh, I, I write it, I like to think it's for C-levels, uh, CEOs, because it's, it's so dense. Uh, the last report was 10 pages of just text. It's very skimmable, so don't, don't let that intimidate you. It's, very, it's got bold, it's, got, it's kind of organized in categories, but it is, is just really what and, why hap, uh, what and why it's important that happened last month. Uh, it comes out the first week of each month, recapping the last month. And, and so the audience is senior level people because they need to know what's going on in the whole industry and and it might spark interest like they want to know more about something and then then they know what to go ask for or or what to go dig or what to go google but it's not meant to be a complete you know i'm not going to go into five pages on just one topic it's meant to recover everything and why it's important so you deliver the news just like you see today delivers the news, but you take it to another level, don't you? I mean, you've got, you know, invaluable insights into some of these organizations. How do you do that? Well, that goes back to that first thing about the passion. I, I love this industry. I love the, I love the vendors in this industry. I love the, I love the use cases. I love what's happening and how the technology is adapting and morphing. And I, I love really what the insider report allows me to do is kind of put together uh, themes that are happening, things, um, uh, multiple events that are happening sometimes throughout the month and sometimes across multiple months. Uh, for example, you know, I hadn't, I probably wouldn't have realized how much the leadership is changing over in our industry right now if I wasn't really tracking that and noticing that a new CEO is named here and a new CEO is named there. It's li really, literally been over the past year we've had significant turnover and much more so than previous. And so, you, why is what's causing that? And is that going to continue? And, and I think that that's kind of the more interesting conversation than, than some company change their CEO. 
Great. So how, how much effort goes into something like this? How much uh, work are you taking away from maybe the readers that, you know, because it, it just seems to me that that 10 page report, which is a fantastic read, doesn't take too long to read, but there's so much in it. You know, it's an interesting question. Um, it, it, it is a lot of effort, but it's complementary to a lot of things I'm doing. I follow, you know, certainly the major vendors and many of the, most of the vendors in the space very closely anyway. Uh, I tweet, you know, on t uh, typically 20 times a day of curated content of what was announced and what was new. And usually when I tweet, you know, you really can't put too much of an opinion in a tweet, but I, I, I do some uh, tweet storms or t uh, tweet threads every once in a while. But I, I, I'm, I'm already monitoring the news uh, every day anyway. So, uh, in fact, that's kind of how Talking Points uh, Insider Report started, was that I was doing it anyway, and then sometimes I would just kind of put it together for some of my, of my better customers, and then my, my customers would say, well, this is actually a really valuable report. So it was about, I don't know, two years ago that, that I launched it as a standalone service. Uh, it's evolved a lot over the time, and uh, it's become something that I actually really enjoy doing. Yeah, and, and, and I've read the report, so I've read, read your recent report, and it, it's almost like um, you see insights for busy people as well, isn't it? Because you write in such a way that it's very easy to digest, and you just you give them what you, uh, or you give them what they need rather than all the, the fluff around the outside. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that, and uh, I think the report kind of speaks for itself. So what I've done on my reports, because it's a, it's a premium subscription service, and people who don't subscribe don't know what it is. So I've made the older reports freely available. They, I think it's uh, after 100 days after they publish, they become available on my website. So anybody who, who's kind of curious what's in an insider report, they could actually view those. They can't view the, uh, uh, generally they can't view the, the uh, research notes, that's, that's separate. But the, uh, but the, but the monthly, monthly insider reports are a free after three months. Great. So if they want to, if they are a subscriber and they want to dig a bit deeper and go into the research notes, you make those available as well as part of the, the, the premium package. As part of the subscription service, I, I've actually made a whole bunch of the older research notes available for free on the website, but ge they generally don't become free after, uh, automatically. It was because of whatever. Long, long story there. Great stuff. Well, let's talk about just, you know, really how do you package it up and, and when do you deliver it? Well, it's, it's packaged up uh, so that when, uh, if you're a subscriber, you get a uh, user ID and login. Uh, whenever there's new premium content loaded to the website, you get an email notifying you, and you can log in and access it. I have personal subscriptions, which start at five eighty eight a year, which is pretty inexpensive. Uh, the enterprise subscriptions include more content, and they also include downloadable reports. Uh, and so the uh, personal subscription is kind of something you just read when you're on the blogs, when you're on the blog. Uh, the PDF versions are all downloadable in the enterprise versions. The enterprise versions also are multiple users. I've got some customers that subscribe enterprise wide uh, and some just have a, you know, I've got four or five 20 user subscriptions. Great. Thanks, Dave. And where do people find, find uh, the form to sign up? It's, it's all on talkingpoints.com. The hard part about talking points is that the, uh, the last letter is a Z, not an S. And uh, you can, there's a, a, a talkingpoints.com slash pricing has everything you need to know to sign up. Great. Well, I think we'll put the, the URL on the screen and, and in the description too. So, hey, Dave, it's, it's been great speaking to you today. Uh, thanks for telling us all about Talking Points Insider. Uh, that's it from us. Uh, if you've enjoyed today's session and you've enjoyed uh, Talking Points Insider before, do give us a quick like or a share on social media. It's always appreciated. For now, thanks for watching. Thank you.